Hello and welcome. This video is the last part of my test of the second qualifying round of the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge 2024. Uh, and I have cause for some trepidation that this case is going to be quite a bit harder than the first two uh, for three reasons. One is because it's by Chris McNeil uh, and Chris wrote what was definitely, at least to me, the hardest case of the first round. Two uh, is the points waiting. It's 900 out of 2,000 points, so it's worth significantly more. And of course, three, uh, it appears to be about American football, which I know absolutely nothing about. But right now that's all I know about it, so let's dive on in and see how it goes. <clears throat> so let's see, you're coaching a big time American football team, e.g. Dallas Cowboys or Miami Dolphins. I've heard of both of those. Uh, shows you how long I've been here. <laughs> uh, just don't ask me to name any players for either of them. Use data on the sequence of plays to analyze the type of plays within games, changes of possessions, and winning scores. Your high-level analytical skills will boost your team's Super Bowl prospects. Be sure to answer the five bonus questions to maximize your score and show your gridiron prowess. All right, so let's just take a quick scan. First of all, how many running plays across all games in level one, excluding the example? Okay, that's a pretty easy one. <clears throat> okay, hang on. So we've got field goal, missed field goal, scored, fumble, pass caught, pass drop, pass intercepted, run, touchdown. Okay. So we've got an abbreviation for each of those, change of possession, and points. Okay. So I'm going to go with ABB, abbreviation, CHG for change of possession, and PTS for points. Um, so how many are across all games in level one is just going to be count ifs. And we're excluding the example is this is R. Cross levels 1, 2, and 3, how many passing plays occur include pass caught, pass drop, pass intercepted, and hopefully they, yep, they all start with P, and nothing else starts with P. So that's relatively easy, and we're just going to say count ifs. Uh, this is going to be P star, meaning P followed by anything else. Uh, and we'll just copy that bit, and we'll say plus count ifs. Same thing for level 2. Assuming we don't count this, but I might have to check that in a minute. Uh, sorry, I copied that so I wouldn't have to rewrite it. Uh, plus count ifs. Same thing for level three. Uh, okay. And that's formatted as a date for some reason. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make a note here formatted as date. Uh, do we include first call? in L2. Uh, doesn't say that already, does it? No, okay. Cross levels 1, 2, and 3. How many times does the most frequent play occur? Okay. <clears throat> so for that, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it down here. Uh, oops. And then I'm going to replace this. Uh, oh. Formatting there. Now I just need to put a tilde in front of that star. Uh, and then I'm going to replace that with my abbreviation here, which is I38. Uh, and that's going to tell me there were 128 of those. And so the thing there was most of is pass caught. And what is the question? How many times? So it's just going to be max of these. Okay. How many total points are scored by both teams using the plays data? I'll come back to that. All right. <clears throat> first touchdown. On what play does the first touchdown occur? Okay, so we're just match TD against this. Uh, now, if there isn't one, no, no, we'll soon see if there's an error. No, there's always a touchdown. Fine. Quickly double check that. Yes. Okay. How many times does a play appear in a game? Okay, so we're going to. Uh, I didn't think I would have to actually use the names, but I do. So let's go NM for name. So we're going to count if uh, this, how often is that? X look up this in NM returning from ABB. And is that right? It is. Okay. So I feel reasonably good about that. Okay. How many total points are scored in the game? So that's going to be sum of X look up of this in ABB returning from PTS. <coughs> and again, does that match? And it does. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's fine. On what play does Team 2 have its first play of the game? Team 1 starts off with the ball in all games. When Team 1 has the ball, Team 2 gets the ball. Right, 
change of possession occurs, change of possession occurs after team one scores, team one fumbles. Fine. Hmm. So, okay. Uh, I'm just going to add in some space here. I think this is going to end up being single cell, but uh, first we're going to go text split of this by semicolon. Then we're going to say scan. Start with team one, right? Uh, so we're going to scan one. Uh, all of this stuff. Well, actually, no. It's going to be X lookup. Uh, yeah, this stuff. In ABB returning from CHG uh, equals yes. And it's going to be lambda A V if B. So if we have a change of possession, then 3 minus A. So if you have 1 and 2, then 3 minus will switch between them, otherwise A. So that gives me, sure enough, uh, oh, except I kind of want this to be after that, don't I? Yes, so we're up to 9. <laughs> okay, so how can I do this? First of all, it's going to be H stack 1. And then we're going to have to drop the last column of this, I guess. So then there's a touchdown here, and then possession changes. There's a fumble here, and then possession changes. Yes, fine. Okay, so what's the question? On what play does team two have its first play? Okay, fine. So we just want to X match two against this. Two against all of that. That's the ten. Okay, so then we just grab this. Uh, boom. I think that's fine. It's not lost on me that I have a propensity to lean too much on single cells sometimes, but anyway. Longest consecutive sequence of running plays. Longest consecutive runs sequence is two runs. Consecutive runs starting at 10. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. So let's again just put in some space here. Text split of this by semicolon. So let's just say if this equals r, then 1 plus this, otherwise 0. So, yes, max is 2. There it is, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I've been playing around with doing runs with scan. I've been meaning to write a lambda for it, but I have not yet done it. So, <coughs> uh, we're going to do H stack. So, I want to compare. Are we still on a run, right? No, I don't think I need to. I think I can just so do this. that equals run. Mm, that's times one. Times one. Then we can scan. Zero through that. I'm to A B. <clears throat> so then what was my logic? I said if uh, V then 1 plus a, otherwise 0. So that gives me, yeah, a 1, 2 right here, and it gives me a few other 1, 2s starting in position 17, yes. And there should be one starting in position 118 as well. Let's look for it. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's a 2, and that's position 118. Okay, I'm happy. So it's just going to be max of that. Okay. Level 6. Change of possession. On what play does the xth possession begin? Okay. <clears throat> so I think what I want is a running count of possessions. So that's going to be scan, 0, uh, x lookup, text split of this by semicolon. We're going to look that up in the abbreviation, return from CHG for change, uh, equals yes. Uh, and actually, I think if I just 
multiply that by one or minus minus. So this is equals yes will give me true or false times one. I'll turn it into ones or zeros, and then I think I can just say scan sum. Uh, so seventh possession ends with a touchdown on play 46. So let's just scan out. Oh, yeah, there's 46. Mm, okay, so first of all, we want to start from one, not zero. And then I think we've got the off by one thing again as well. So yes. <clears throat> so we want to H stack one with that. And then on 46, the seventh ends and you get into the eighth. Cool. So then we just need to X match this against that. All right, I got to pause for a second. Okay, sorry, I had to run off for a second there. I'm back. I think I just done this one, so let's take that. Okay. Level 7, winning team score. How many points does the winning team score in each game? In the event of a tie score, both teams win. Possession of the ball follows the rules from level 4. So let's just go up to level 4. I think I already had a handy dandy thing here. Yes, this is who's in control. So let's throw in some space here. And we want to point that at here. And that gives me 150 plays. Yes, fine. Mm. So, what's the winning team score? Fine. So, I think what I want to do is group by. So, this is going to be my labels, and then I want the scores. So, I should take this piece out. So, I'm going to let uh, plays be that. Text split. Uh, teams be all this uh, plays and uh, points uh, scores since I used points elsewhere will be X lookup plays in ABB returning from TTS and then I think I should be able to say group by actually wait maybe I want to split this down a column because I think group by might prefer that. So we're going to group by uh, the row fields are teams, uh, scores, and sum. Oh, you didn't like that? No. What did you not like? Teams, scores, sum, plays, tab, points, tab, change. OK, well, call that out. Standard debugging step. So, first of all, do we have plays? No. What? Oh, God, what is going on with my Excel? Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. My Excel just, uh, just totally threw up and died. But uh, anyway, came back. So, okay, we don't have an issue with plays. That's working. Teams is throwing a name error. Okay. Ah, because I can't spell plays. Okay, uh, now it's calc. What? Mm. Really? How on earth is that calc? Oh, sorry. Yeah, because I gotta, because I switched the order. Uh, oh, no. Really stuffed it up, haven't I? So I need to be stack. Shouldn't have switched the order and everything, but anyway. Okay, so now I should be able to get out, and that is yes, fifty-one. Okay, so then I want uh, index. Uh, well, yeah. so I want no totals uh, and minus two. Sort of descending. Uh, wait, sorry. Right. One of those is going to give me no totals. There we go. Uh, and then I want. I think I'll be lazy and just take max of out. And I'll just check in case there's ever a situation where the score would be low enough that the team number would be the highest thing in there, but hopefully not. That would be a disappointing game, and sure enough, the minimum is 9, so I think we're good with that. Okay, so now we've got a couple of bonus questions left to do. What do we got? Uh, how many points are scored by both teams using the plays data in level 4, 5, 6, and 7, excluding the examples? And in level 7, excluding the example, what are the sum of the scores of the losing teams? Okay. Uh, 
uh, FT, a game engine are tied, both teams win. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, that one's relatively easy from the setup I've done. So I just need to put it over here so we can look at it for a sec. Uh, oh, what the? Oh, there must be some centering across selection going on here. That's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, okay, just okay. There we go. Uh, so give me all about again for a second. Uh, is there more going on with this? Anyway, uh, oh, interesting. So that is an example of a tie game, I guess. Uh, there's an 18.9. Anyway, uh, so what I'm interested in is uh, take the second column, the last column of out, and then I want the min of that. Uh, wait, it says the losing team. So what does it mean to ask about the losing team's points? If a game ends in a tie, both teams win. Does that mean you don't count any points? I guess it does. That's very odd interpretation, but okay. So, uh, I guess uh, scores, no, I already used scores. Uh, tots can be that. And then we want to say if min tots equals max tots, then zero, otherwise min of tots. Even though that seems like a super weird interpretation, so you get no points there. Uh, so that's interpretation one, and just in case, interpretation two would just be a straight up min of, oops, straight up min of tots, min of the total. Uh, but I think this is the interpretation being asked for, so I'm just going to go with that for now. Okay. Whoops. Some. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this, okay. So now, uh, four, five, six, and seven data total points scored. Okay. So I'm just going to, uh, yeah, let's go level four. Uh, let's put that down at the bottom. Uh, level five. Here, that down below level four, level six. And finally, level seven. That would definitely be a lot smoother with some of my lambdas, but anyway, uh, so we're gonna sum of x lookup, of text split, split of this by semicolon, uh, in, what are we looking up in abbreviation returning from points? And we just want the sum of all of those. Bah. Okay. And that is it. So as usual, I will try to add something on if I stuffed it up. But uh, otherwise, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, so a quick addendum because I just checked my answers and they're all good except this one where I was a total clown. Uh, how many times did the most common play occur? I used an unlock reference and copied down. I'm so bad at that. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just so spoiled by usually working with dynamic arrays where you don't have to think about that, uh, that I just didn't think about it. Uh, so obviously that changes the answer there. Um, and just double check, but yes, that then does match the answer. So what I really should have done, rather than any of that silliness, was just, uh, oops, point this to the whole row. Uh, actually, yeah, I even had a named range. So I could have just pointed it to ABB, and then I wouldn't have had to worry about locking. Uh, would have had to worry about weird formatting, but never mind. Uh, so yeah, that would have been a smarter way to do that, uh, and less prone to the risk of uh, failing to lock cells. Uh, I think. I think I may have gotten worse about remembering to lock cells as I use dynamic arrays more and it becomes less important. But anyway, that's the only thing that went wrong, touch wood. Uh, and that is all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.